think the next generation、uh, should choose to go into the developmental sciences because I think technology has made the globe smaller, and we all, as humans on this globe, are involved in human development, and therefore learning about developmental science, having the opportunity to use it. Uh, globally, not just locally, provides the opportunity for us to improve our relationships with each other as humans, and to respect the diversity, and to use that knowledge、uh, to improve everyone's,、um, you know, life course situation. There are many different opportunities and different ways that you can really make a difference, and so you can do it on an individual level, you know, through intervention programs, working directly with families. You can do it,、um, make changes, and. At the systemic level, and so working with schools, perhaps, or changing policy,、um, and really impacting larger, you know, community level, even country level processes. And so, developmental science gives you, depending on what what you specialize in, can give you the ability to work at these problems at multiple levels. And so, I felt I I could be much more impactful at many different levels by doing research, which is which is why I chose it. We need to learn about how to reduce problem behaviors and negative outcomes, but that's not sufficient. We need to go beyond that. We need to also start to understand how we can foster and promote more positive outcomes in ethnic racial minority kids. And I think that's one major way in which the developmental sciences has evolved. Around the world, I see a need for evidence of research and science to play a role in.、Um, Practices and policies that affect uh, uh, children. So, there is a particular need for the expertise, which is、um, understanding how programs and policies should really track the development of children and how their their needs, their potential, their skills, and their interests change across development. If we don't do that, we can end up with one size fits all kinds of policies that don't take into account the fact that. Um, different uh, domains of child development,、um, different areas of skills develop at different rates,、um, occur at different points in development. That the、uh, vulnerabilities and the strengths、um, at each stage require a tailored set of interventions and policies. Sometimes we feel overwhelmed and we don't want to give up. But I would say, young people, don't. First, progress has been made. Yeah, we're better than say 100 years ago, even 50 years ago. Yeah, we still have challenges, but still, we each one of us have the responsibility to join in, to do this, to fight, you know, to sort of reduce discrimination and correct injustice, so all children will get a chance, you know, we get nurture, care, and a better future, right? So we are the ones who are gonna do it. Yeah, you have to join and do it. Because we're in such an exciting time, when technology or the digital era, along with shifts in the way that we can think about connecting with people from around the world, it is important for someone to be there to begin to document how these evolving changes or creating changes in humans, and that's what a developmental scientist would do. So it's an exciting time to be a developmental scientist.